So let's talk a little bit about the where is command. The where is command is a very useful command on a Linux system because it gives you important information about any executable binary on the system. It gives you the location of the binary, gives you the location of the sources, and it gives you the location of a man page. For example, if I do a where is on the ls command, it gives me the location of the ls binary, which is in user bin ls, and then it gives me two man page locations, so user share man, uh, so we've got a couple of different man pages available, and had there been any uh, source files on source locations, you would have had that included here. That's typically going to be in directories like user share. If I up arrow and do a where is on Firefox, you can see Firefox, we get the binary, and then we get user lib Firefox, so some libraries associated with Firefox. Firefox does not have a man page because we don't have anything with user share man, because that's typically the directories where where man pages live on a Linux system. Now where is has flags available for you if you only want the binary or if you only want the sources or if you only want the man pages, we have flags for that. So where is dash B would get you the binary. Where is dash S would give you the source. And if you do dash M, that gives you the man page. For example, if I do where is dash M on LS, I get the location of the two man pages that LS has. You notice I did not get the binary. If I up arrow and do dash B for binary, now I get the binary, but I don't get the man pages. There are also capital versions of these flags. For example, where is dash capital B gives you the opportunity to give where is a list of directories where it searches for binaries, so you can limit the number of directories that it searches for binaries in. For example, if I only want to search user bin and maybe also let's go into user local bin and we'll search for ls. Well, it's going to complain because we also have to give it an additional flag at the end here, dash f. So what the dash f flag does, it signifies that that is the end of the list that we were giving the dash capital B flag. So now this command should work and now we get the output from where it is, and it only searched in user bin and user local bin. We could do the same thing with searching for the man pages as well, as far as we can limit the places it searches for the man pages. We can do dash capital M, and we can tell it to only look in user share man, and let's do a category man 1p, and that's the only place it can look, and dash F to terminate uh, the list that we're giving dash capital M and then again give it a command I'll do the ls command once again and it did find the man page for ls in man 1p uh, which I knew it was there that's why I gave it that particular directory if I gave it a different directory maybe search in man 0p uh, it won't find a man page for ls in that directory. And finally, if you have a program that has some sources on the system, you could do where is dash capital S for sources and do, you know, user, I don't know, source or whatever, you know, you're looking into certain directories, user, share, uh, and then dash L if you got to terminate the list. And then, of course, you've got to do the program name. One final flag I want to share with you with where is is where is dash G for glob. So glob patterns. So glob matching patterns. What you need to do here is inside quotes, you need to give it a pattern to search for. Maybe I want to search for all the binaries that involve the word find at the beginning of a string. So if I do that, now we get the where is information for a lot of different stuff because I get the binary for find dash debug info, find mount, find fs, find all symbols. There's a lot of things on the system that involved find at the beginning of the command. And finally, if you want to learn more about the where is command, please type man where is in the terminal to read the man page for where is.